Shotgun Summer continuation. A little pro tip for you here. Uh, I'm out here with the Franke Instinct LX 28 gauge. We're testing the shotgun out, but really what I want to talk about is shotgun mount. Well, even though we're out here on the clays course, a lot of guys when they're shooting clays will start with the shotgun mount. And yeah, you're going to get a better score when you're trying to break clays that way, but you're not actually practicing a scenario that's going to help you out hunting. And so when we come out here, what we're trying to do is always start low gun in order to best simulate that shotgun mount for when we're hunting. And I've noticed, and we talk about this, you've seen me talk about this lots on the channel, but really the other thing I want to kind of emphasize because I've been watching other shooters who are new to upland hunting and I'm going to show you the difference between how they're mounting the gun or how I see them mounting the gun versus how I'm trying to mount the gun in my head. And it's a big difference. Um, it's going to seem small when I show you and we may super slow this one down um, so that you can kind of see the difference a little bit better. But what I see guys do when they're shooting low gun first starting out is I see them swing the butt of the shotgun up to their shoulder. So they're swinging the butt of the shotgun up and trying to get it mashed at the right position. And the problem with that is, is if you don't mash that at the right spot, you're either going to shoot over or under the clay. Not that you can't get consistent with it, but here's the difference of what I'm doing when I'm out here shooting low gun and what I'm thinking about and actually how I do it in the field as well. The difference is, is when I start low gun, I try and get the shotgun headed towards the clay first. And you go, well, what do you mean? Well, I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm trying to push that gun forward. I'm not swinging the butt to meet a place on my shoulder. I'm trying to push the gun towards the clay, and then I'm bringing my cheek and my body to the gun when I'm shooting. So it's a fluid motion, I'm trying to get the gun moving with the clay and pushing that gun, getting out over my toes, pushing that gun towards the clay or the bird in the field, and then meeting it with my cheek and going bang. So let me show you what that looks like in real time. We'll throw a couple clays and I'll show you the difference. 28 gauge on clays at the skeet range. First time I've shot this gun. Be interesting. I'll, uh, I'll let Steve random throw it too. So that one, I pulled up. I managed to break it, but I'm trying to show you the difference here. So I just swung the butt of that, I got lucky. We'll try that again. I'll show you that one more time. Missed on that one. Now let me show you the difference here and what I'm trying to do in my head and when I'm practicing for birds. And really, I, need, I just get my feet set a little bit better than that. Shoot over top of that low house. So I'm just trying to get that gun headed towards the clay in a fluid motion and then meet it with my cheek. And the other thing you'll notice, I'll show you this unloaded and close to the camera. The other thing you'll notice or that I cognitively do, I don't think about it now, but what I tell people when I'm trying to teach them how to shoot is, is I'm trying to get, I want my cheek to be as close to the back of the, my thumb as possible. So that distance there, and it's, it's, hard, it's hard to understand that. I see a lot of shooters back here closing the off eye, but what I'm trying to do is get my cheekbone as close to that thumb as I can. And that helps me get out over in front of the gun. So those things, shotgun mount and upland hunting, bird hunting in general, 90% of the game. That's why we practice it the way we, we practice the way we play. So we'll throw a couple more here. So there you go. Pro tip, shotgun summer, practice that shotgun mount the right way.